Hi everyone and welcome to our learning journey of Plaxis Monopoly Designer. In this video, we will take our first steps towards creating a new project and defining our materials in soil mode. To do this, we will follow the first tutorial of our manual. So, if you need to find more information on the subjects discussed here, you can pause this video at any time and refer to our manual. To access the Monopoly Designer manual, you can press the F1 button on your keyboard or select the Manuals options from the Help menu. Let's start by creating a new project in the Quick Start window and give it a name. This tutorial explains how to apply the numerical base design, so we will name our project accordingly and after that we're going to save it. After Plaxis generates the project file, we move to the Soil mode where we can see that we have two options available. One is for clay materials with undrained behavior and the other one is for sand materials with drain behavior. For this tutorial, we will select the clay option. Next, we will generate the soil layers based on the assumed clay soil profile described in the manual. To do that, we add four different soil layers by pressing the Add button. Each of these soil layers represents the variation of the material properties with depth. First, we add the submerged unit weight and please note here that in Plaxis Monopile Designer, the submerged unit weight of the soil is used to generate an effective stress state without water in the Plaxis 3D models. Next, we define the small strain shear modulus G0, which corresponds to the mid-depth of each soil layer. The values of G0 at the top and the bottom soil layer boundaries are calculated based on the G0 over SU ratio. After that, we add the undrained shear strength in triaxial compression, both at the top and at the bottom of each layer. And lastly, we define the lateral earth pressure at rest, K0, in terms of effective stresses. At this point, we have completed the definition of the clay material for our model, and we can go ahead and save our project. For the sake of comparison, let's assume that instead of clay, which in Plaxis Monopile Designer is formulated using the NGI ADP model, we had a sandy type soil. In this case, the sandy soil material is formulated using the hardening soil with small strain stiffness model, and therefore we have a different set of material parameters. As you can see here, instead of the undrained shear strength, we need to define values for the effective angle of internal friction, phi, and the angle of dilatancy, psi. Nevertheless, we are free to change the constitutive model or use a user-defined soil model via Plaxis 3D. You can find more information on the use of the NGI ADP and the HS small models and their corresponding material parameters in the scientific manual of Monopile Designer. For non-cohesive soils such as sand or gravel, with the angle of internal friction being higher than 30 degrees, the value of dilation angle can be estimated as psi equals phi minus 30 degrees. After completing the first step, we are now ready to move on to the following step, the calibration mode. We will cover this mode in our next video.